Hey everybody, I'm gonna teach you how to do your weekly accomplishment sheets. Here you go. Go to Mary Kay in Touch. Scroll down to under business tools to where it says weekly accomplishments. You touch it like that. And then it opens. You're gonna look for, now here's the thing. You can read through here and see where it says, it says frequently asked questions or it even says online weekly accomplishments guide. That little button right there will tell you a lot of things about the weekly accomplishments that you might want to know. Let me go ahead and show you how you enter your weekly accomplishments. This is one thing that you do. So, you push it. Here we go, we're gonna look at one of my weeks. Please notice at the top, it shows what week we're in. That is important. So, this notice runs from Sunday to Saturday. If you're filling this out, for, and it's after this Saturday, you're gonna have to touch on that button to be sure you get to the right week. So that's important. Now notice it says my customers. And it says that it, it shows, it says look, it's auto-populated for the my customers program. Please complete the information and click add. See, if you read the directions, it's pretty simple. Now, it even tells you what to do, you know, what to what it means whenever, if you click on the blue links, it has, if you touch it, it tells you what it means. So I'm going to give you some more detailed information as far as how I, how you'll want to have these filled out, okay? So notice these are customers that came from the My Customers program for me. All right. So this was a person. Now, this lady placed an order. I'm going to put how many hours I spent with her. It is important to document how long you spent with somebody so that that way you can be accurate about the amount of money you're making per hour. So that's why you put that in there. She was, it, she took me 15 minutes. She was not a makeover. This column I used for makeovers. If they are a facial or a party, a number goes in there. If it's one person, it's one right there. She placed an order. She did not book anything with me, so that's a zero. I did not sell any skincare sets with her. That's also a zero. This is what I sold to her without tax, $24. And notice, it should not go, it should not go under parties. This was actually an online order. So there you go. Then on the sales tax, the sales tax on $24, I need to figure that out. It would be 0.0825 times, uh, times 24. And I'm just gonna make up a number really quick, $2.25, okay, just really fast. All right, so that is what that is. Hostess gifts, notice a hostess gift is, sorry, Hostess gifts are something that you're giving away that is section two or preferred customer gifts. I actually don't track this number because at the end of the year, Mary Kay will let you know that you have ordered X amount in section two, including preferred customer program gifts. So I don't want to put anything there. I don't need to. Under giveaway, this total is for things that are retail product that you give away. So that is what you would record. And in this case, I did give away something. I was selling that mask for $20. So I gave away $4 in retail products. So I just need to type $4 uh, dollars there. Okay. And then this one is for non-recovered sales tax. Now I always, if I'm giving a discount, I calculate the sales tax on the retail amount. So I calculate the sales tax on the retail amount, and that's what I include, include right there. So actually, I don't even need to worry about this section because I already do that. Um, I calculate that and it's included in my, um, in my, whenever I'm placed, when I'm charging a customer, okay? So now I have to touch add. So now you're gonna notice that that little lady, after a minute, after I push add, she's gonna show up down here at the bottom of the weekly accomplishment sheet. Notice she's down there. Debbie Bainey's down there. It shows it. It also shows I can adjust it if I touch the X um, or I can erase it, okay? Now, so you'd wanna do this and notice how it looks a little different at the top because those are completed, okay? So, now let's look and see for somebody that I did a facial on. Look at, for example, Marsha Arndt. I spent, she was a facial. I did an hour's worth of work with her. She was here about an hour. And so I would put her as one for guests because she did do a makeover. There you go. I did not get a booking out of her. She did not book anything, so that is a zero. And I did not sell her any skincare set, so that's a zero. And so she bought $120 from me, well, and she actually bought some more, but that's what we have marked right there. This is gonna be marked as a facial, because she did a facial with me, okay? 
And then I actually did a special and I, I gave her tax free on pickup. So I didn't charge her sales tax. So I'm gonna say zero right there. And then what I gave away would be retail. I gave away the sales tax on that. So that would be like whatever the sales tax is on that amount. I'm gonna say $10 just for grins. Okay, there we go. That was that was what my, um, you know, what I gave away. Actually, I'm sorry, that wasn't retail product. That was sales tax given away. So I would just put down $10 of sales tax, 85 cents or whatever, because I did not, I gave that as a discount to her. Okay, sorry, can you see? There you go. So that is what you would indicate when you're doing a, a facial. It is her name, the number of hours I spent with her. She is a face, so I have to put a one there. That's what I'm looking for, she, that is a face model. She ordered, did not book, no skincare sets, that was the amount facial. In this case, I gave her a discount on, on her sales tax as a special promo. And so I just put, I put that under there. All right, now I'm going to push add and then she's going to show up on the bottom in just a second. All right, there she goes. See? All right. Now to take you to the next page, I'm, I'm going to go ahead and do that. So you can either click next or you can click the next thing on the top, which says summary. All right. Now here's the deal. This gives you a recap of the entire week. So this is where you can see, okay, how many people did I interview? Well, I would have, I would need to indicate out of those people, who did I do an interview with? If I did an interview with any of those ladies, then I would need to put the number of, the, of them that I did. So that would be one. Okay. If I have new team members, I would document that here. If, and this is where I put up how many appointments do I have in the next week? How many things do I have already booked on my schedule this next week? You put that number there. These, the company, pop, that they self-populate that. So that's what I sold in those following categories. Okay, there we go. And right now, it looks like my sales total is 232. Okay, this is important. This is the wholesale amount that I need to place to the company. So here's the deal. If I have sold product, I would need to place an order. And the product order needs to be about at least 50% of that number because I've sold it, so I better order it, okay? The company on the MKU goes into this a little bit on how to get, manage your profit. But it's important that, if, that you have a product order either weekly or often so that you maintain the product on your shelves. All right, so I'm just gonna go ahead and push next because I didn't, I didn't enter that order there. Next week's goals. This is important because this helps us know what do we wanna sell? If I did not like that I sold just $232 this last week, then I need to make a different goal. I wanna sell 300 this next week. And then how am I gonna do it? Well, I could receive 300 in sales just by doing one skincare party with three to five guests there. That would be obvious. Um, but I also, I maybe have some facials I'd like to do. So let me go ahead and put in a couple of examples there. On the go appointments, those are things that last, you know, 15 minutes or less. I'm dropping product off and seeing someone and talking with them for a minute. That would be an on the go appointment. I'm sure I'll have a few of those. And on with the shows. These are things like lead gathering events or trunk shows. A lead gathering event is one where we don't get to show a lot of product, but we can gather up um, leads and for new customers, things like that. So you could put a number there if you have one of those scheduled. If you do not feel like you have enough people to call, we want to look at you know generating leads from hosting somewhere at someone's boutique and put names and numbers in for a raffle from your free Mary Kay. That would be an example of that. The number of interviews I'd like to have. Well, I would like to do five interviews because I want to recruit one team member. So I'm going to put five interviews down there. And this is the number of customer calls. Now, that could be calls or texts or, or sending out you know um, messages to people. So if I want to have at least one skincare class, I'm going to need to book two in order to hold one skincare class. So one in five people books an appointment. So for me to have two skincare parties booked, I better talk to at least 10 people because if you talk to 10 people, you'll get two bookings out of that. And in order to hold those bookings, don't be sure that one holds, there we go. So I know I at least need to talk to 10 people in order to have what I want to have on my date book, okay? Now this is where you can tell me you want more information. So this is, you know, more information on any of these items, it will send me an email. And you can be specific on that too and say other and tell me what you want, what you have questions about. 
This is where you write down who you have interviewed. Their name, interviewed or recruited them, address, telephone, all in their, their information there. And then uh, you would push add and then go to next. Okay, this is how much a profit I made. So the company's gonna calculate this. Profit without tax. Look, notice they do a 60-40 split. It says you deposit the total amount uh, deposit the total amount in your business account because you're going to then order your product from there. 60% of sales are for product replacement, meaning you need to at least spend your 50% on all the product that you ordered, that you sold, plus another 10% to continue to build your store and build things for yourself, etc. Self and shelf. 40% profit is yours minus any other business expenses. So, from $232 in sales, I see that I profited $92.80. Now, this is where you can see how much if you worked per hour. I only indicated that I worked an hour and 25 minutes, or hour, an hour and a half, hour and 15 minutes. Notice I made 70, over $74 an hour because I didn't work that much, okay? So, that's, that's important information. And here is where we push submit. All right. This one allows you to submit it to me. You will want to print a, a version of your weekly accomplishment sheet as well because that helps you know what you've done for the week and what you want to improve on. All right, and then you push the word submit right here and it will submit it to me. It's seeing it's telling me it's submitted. Thank you, your accomplishment has been submitted. All right, so that is the weekly accomplishment sheet, just the bottom line of how to fill out your weekly accomplishment sheet. And the bottom line is, is that if you are not liking the amount of sales that you have here, if you don't like that number, you are absolutely in control and you can fix that. The most important thing is to create a plan for the next week. So if I do not want just a $232 in sales, I'm gonna set a goal for 300 and then I will do um, the appropriate skincare classes to get there. So I hope this helps everybody to know what to do. You will wanna turn in your weekly accomplishment sheet as soon as possible. They're actually due Saturday night um, after the week is over. So the sooner you get it turned in, the sooner that you can be prepared for the next week. Because if you're saying, oh, I need help, I wanna know how to do something else, but you don't submit your sheet in, well, how do I know you need any extra help, right? So when you send your sheet in and you feel like, I need another plan to make um, myself more successful, here's what I'm needing help in. That signals your director that she can help you by giving you a call or directing you some information on, on some training information to help you with the areas that you need the most help in. So that's how we do it. And the deal is this, ta-da. Whenever you, um, if you're not meeting the goals you want to meet, I can, I can help you to get there. But I gotta know that you're not meeting, that you're not getting your goals met and that you want more from your business. And so the faster you turn in your weekly accomplishment sheet, the faster I know that you want help with your business. Because if you're looking at your sheet and you're not liking, gosh, I didn't make enough money, well then we need to make a different plan. And so that would be included in your weekly plan sheet. So that's why every week you'd wanna submit a weekly accomplishment sheet to see what you accomplished. And if it's not sufficient and you want something different, well then we need to submit, look at a creating a different plan and adding that in to, the, to your plan of what you already have going on. That's what Mary Kay always said, you plan your work and you work your plan. So you would be able to put your plan in place and then see where can you fit Mary Kay in and around that. And here's the deal, you guys are all really smart ladies, really smart people. You can look at your plan and oftentimes know exactly what you need to do without even my help. So I hope that makes sense.